How's it going guys? I'm going to show you guys how I do the calibration, um, the front camera calibration of course using the Bosch system. I know some people are a little skeptical saying, hey, you know what, should I use the Auto, should, should I use Optine, should I purchase the Bosch, what should I do? Well, I own the Optine, it's really good, um, but I needed this system because as you guys can see for our body shots, we do radar, we also do radar for them and Optime doesn't do it at the moment. So it's really simple. Um, first, you just put on the wheel clamps and then it doesn't have to be perfect over here, but here all you can do is just, of course, you know, you just uh, check to see whether it's a little bit balanced. And if it is, then you just do both sides as we already did. Um, the vehicle is on. I know I could have used like a battery charger or something, but uh, most of the time the box just tells you to just get the vehicle running so we're gonna go ahead and get into the um, into it first as you guys can see this is the main menu here we go I'm gonna go ahead and put ADAS auto so right now it's searching the vehicle um, you probably might be thinking hey is there like a super long cable connected to the OBD2 port well no um, it has a module over there or like a little um, computer and it sends a signal over here and so I'm gonna go back to here so of course this tells me what I can do to it it allows me to do the front facing camera the front facing radar surround view camera and blonde blind spot monitoring of course we're gonna do front facing camera okay and I'm just gonna go step by step so you guys can actually see the complete process so Okay, so of course we're going to go with recognition camera access adjust. There we go. Cool. So it's letting us know, of course, what the equipment we're going to be using. I, of course, we, we already had a target set um, three already on there. Toyota set number three. Of course, we're just that way. I'll give you guys a second to read all of it. I'm gonna go to continue. Of course, it tells you when to do a calibration. Of course, when the ECU or camera is being replaced, when the windshield's been replaced, when a DTC is present, or wheel alignment or suspension work has been performed. So this tool is also awesome, guys. For you know, for like those who are, you know, if you have a friend or someone that's doing suspension work, you just you know, you can charge them for calibration, so it's pretty awesome. So go ahead and read that if you guys can. Cool. And so far here, like in this screen, it tells you about the distance you're going to be using. So check this out. If you guys come around this way, you'll be able to see that it has uh, a camera on this side and a camera on that side. Um, excuse all the mess, we're actually in the middle of this crazy... A pandemic we're buying so much glass for inventory so we're moving stuff around all over the place so um, come back to the screen let me show you guys so now that I connected of course the um, the camera ports the USB port so that way you can actually read the, the size and everything just stay there okay? so it tells you here what you're gonna be normally about the distance you're gonna be okay so give me one second so here we're going to start off a lot of the vehicles are very different but here with the machine I ended up moving it as close as I possibly can to the front bumper um, as you guys can see um, it's actually scanning the, the little boards in the back for the wheels I'm going to press continue and there's no measuring, I don't have to get on my knees taking measurings and measurements and drawing on the floor. So now I'm just kind of just moving the machine. It's kind of like reading it. So I'm gonna kind of start moving the, the whole tool. There we go, we're gonna move it up a little bit. One thing that's really important, always make sure that the floor is, is as clean as possible. See, like if you move it too much, it's really sensitive, so. There we go. Okay, cool. 
Now what I always like to do is I like to put the, it has like these little anchors down here. And as you guys can see, that way it's solid, it's not moving anywhere. I can shake it, doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna press continue because it's finally it read already. It's obviously telling me to use the, the brakes. Cool. And then it's gonna tell us the next step on the setup, which uh, I'm gonna show you guys because it's really cool. So as you guys can see here, and then we're gonna look over here. Um, as you guys can see, I'm checking off the, the measurement that's there, exactly like how it's telling me. It has this little knob in the back. Looks pretty good from here. It's on number two. We're gonna just press continue. All you have to do is just follow what it tells you. Let's go out this way. So it's telling me it has to be 135 centimeters. So if we look here, we're here at 135. We're gonna come out here, it's at 135. And right here I have this little leveler, it's telling me, it'll let me know whether it's completely balanced or not. So I'm off by just, just a little bit. Here we go, 135, 135, you guys can see it's pretty centered. If you guys look up here, it also has a measurement, so I'm able to move exactly where this one goes. This one, I'm gonna leave it right at zero. So, that's the center. So we're gonna come back over here. And now that we, of course, already figured this out, um, we already checked the leveler to make sure that's good. And right here is telling us to put the target, of course, Toyota set number three. This is a cool thing, by the way. It has all of them kind of stored up in here. Of course, uh, it's pretty neat, it's organized. We're gonna go ahead and push continue. And it's asking us to remove the USB cable. We're gonna go out here this way. Alrighty. We actually just did a panoramic. We did the whole roof on this. Um, it was a pain in the butt, but it, you know what? It was fun. It was a different experience. So we're gonna press continue. Okay, we're gonna go to continue. We're gonna take a screenshot, of course, of the values. Just press continue. And right here is telling me to verify that it's in the center. As you guys can see the target, it's obviously in, this, in the exact position. We're gonna press continue. As you guys can tell, if you guys look on the um, on the cluster, you guys can actually see that it's now requiring us to do the calibration. I'm gonna leave this up here, but if you guys can see, it's telling me to move up position number two, which is on the left, at 55 centimeters. So, give me five. I'm gonna take this one off, really careful. I'm gonna move it over here, because it's gonna ask me to do the same thing. And it's at 55 centimeters. So here it is. This is magnetic, by the way, which is actually pretty cool. Right, let me check something real quick. Perfect. 55. Perfect. So we're going to come back around again. And you're going to see how it's going to move right there. Perfect. 55 centimeters. Awesome. Now it's asking me to go to the right side at 55 centimeters as well. So we're going to take this off. And we're going to come right over here. Oh, this is cool because it has like these little pins and this little hole. And it also has a pin here and a hole. So it's there's no room for error with this system. It's pretty awesome. So we're coming at 55 centimeters to be exact. And we're going to go ahead and do the final reading of this target. And here we go. We're going to press continue. You're going to hear a beep. Cool. Now it is gone. Of course, if we look at, at the camera, it's asking me to turn the ignition off. I'm going to turn it off, listen to what it's telling me. I'm going to press continue. It starts to, to do a countdown for, for of course, as, as I turned it off. But here we go. You guys are going to see what the next step is. We're going to turn the ignition switch on. I'm going to turn on the whole vehicle. Here we go. 
See, camera aiming is successful and completed. We're gonna screen capture this. Go to continue. It's gonna bring us back to this um, area right here. Then we're gonna do a post uh, scan. Well, I already did a pre-scan earlier. So of course we're gonna do a post scan. Sorry if the screen's pretty dirty. I should have cleaned it ahead of time. <laughs> I would just give it a, a few minutes and of course it's going to read everything. This is what I like. I like how it reads all of this as you guys can see over there. I'm going to move it this way. Blind spy, it scans everything. Um, this vehicle, the one of the only codes that it did come up with, it was in the navigation system. It showed that there was a code there which is kind of crazy because this is a 2020. 2021 uh, made in February so we'll just give it some time it just starts to load up you save the report send it to your insurance send it to your body shop whoever it is you know and then you just collect but as you guys can tell I'm just gonna go back this way so you guys can see the whole system is very easy to use the anchors are extremely strong so even if I move it it doesn't do anything once I once I'm fully finished I just remove my anchor and I'm able to go and store it away. It has wheels, the camera, the precision, everything is just perfect. I would recommend it to anyone who's trying to purchase, of course, the bar system. Um, but it's ultimately up to you, it's up to your budget. Yeah, it is a little bit up in the price range, but hey, it's totally worth it. It allows you to open the doors uh, to, of course, more services like radar and of course um, lane departure and things like that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys just want to finish seeing this, I know we're already halfway. As you guys can tell, I told you guys earlier I had a navigation code, which it was something there. But so far, there is no blind spot. There's nothing like that. Advanced parking, all oh, that is clear. you get me? Where are we at when it comes to front radar? still scanning most of the cars so but we don't have any other codes for lane departure so thank you guys again for watching take care